हेलो स्टूडेंट्स जनरल साइंस स्टैंडर्ड सेवन्थ का फर्स्ट चैप्टर द लिविंग वर्ल्ड अडेप्टेशन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन इसके एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन आंसर आज हम लोग देखने वाले हैं सो लेट स्टार्ट आवर वीडियो फाइंड माय मैच आपको मैच करना है ए को मैंने आंसर और डायरेक्ट आंसर आपको लिखा है लोटस की जोड़ी लगानी है आपको एडेप्टेड टू लिव इन वाटर एलोए एडेप्टेड टू लिव इन डिजर्ट कैस्टा के हॉस्टोरिकल रूट्स फॉर एप्रेशन ऑफ फूड वेनस प्लेटरे फ्लावर एंड लीव्स अट्रैक्ट इंसेक्ट्स रीड द पैराग्राफ एंड आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन आपको पैराग्राफ रीड करने के लिए कहा जा रहा है आई एम अ पैंगवीन आई लिव इन अ पोलार रीजन कवर्ड बाय स्नो माय एप्टोमैन इज वाइट माय स्किन इज थिक विथ अ लेयर ऑफ फैट एंड दर नीथ माई बॉडी इज स्पाइंडलेस माई विंग्स आर स्मॉल माई टर्स आर वैप माई वी लिव इन फ्लॉक्स फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आपको दिया हुआ वाई इज माई स्किन वाइट एंड थिक एंड वाई इज देयर आर थिक लेयर ऑफ फैट अंडर नीथ आंसर पैंगविन लिव इन एक्सट्रीमली कोल्ड पोलार रीजन द रीजन इज ऑलवेज कवर्ड ओवर विथ आईज इट हैज थिक स्किन विथ थिक लेयर ऑफ फैट अंडर नीथ बिकॉज इट डज नॉट अलाउ द बॉडी हेड टू स्केप आउट डाई टू वाइट कलर इट कैन मिक्स विद द सराउंडिंग्स एंड कैन नॉट ही इजीली लोकेटेड दिस वे इट सीक्स प्रोडक्शन अगेंस्ट predators b a why do we live in flocks sticking close to each other answer by staying in a flock one is protected against the attack from the predator it becomes easier for parental care also by sticking each other the body hate is not lost to the surroundings see which geographical region do i inhabit why answer penguin stays in polar region especially in the antra and tartic region there is a abundant food available for the penguins and thus they are seen here d which adaptation should you have to enable you to live permanently in the polar region why answer in order to permanently inhabit in the polar region the body should be adapted to cold temperatures there should be thick layer of fat and thick skin to protect the body the ability to regulate body temperature should be extremely good for the survival third who is lying first cockroach i have five legs answer cockroach is lying cockroach has six legs b hen my toes are web hen is lying its toes are not webbed c hai cactus my fleshly green part is a leaf cactus is lying it fleshy and green part is a stem Fourth, read each of the following statements. Write a paragraph about adaptation, which reference to each statement. First, the above there is extreme heat in deserts. Answer: The living organism residing in extreme heat of desert show appropriate adaptation in their structure of body and their life process. Camel shows many adaptations like uh, modified legs, eye. uh nose and the hump on the back rats snakes spiders and lizards escape the heat of the sun by remaining inside deep burrows during their time plants like different species of cacti have specially modified body structure with which uh, which they survive the extreme heat too second grasslands are lush green the water availability is ample in grasslands therefore there is a plenty of grass and shrubs the fibrous roots and grass hold the soil particles and prevent soil erosion in equatorial regions there is a lush green growth due to sunlight and abundance of water due to plant cover on all the sides grassland look lush green see insects are found in the large numbers answer insects adapt to any kind of habitat some insect can fly they have adaptation like light bodies two pairs of wings which help them in flying some insects are also aquatic some stay near water bodies some are in desert too many have ability to comfortably with the environment and thus they escape the attention of uh, predators they can reproduce in large number due to all such adaptation insects are found in large numbers d we we hide answer some of those hide are weak organism uh, in order to seek protection from enemies they hide in their habitats the coloration of their body mixes with the surroundings and thus enemies do not see these 
hiding creatures some of them hide also for catching prey chamlen garden lizard can change color rapidly and become unnoticeable these helps them to catch their prey easily see ai we have long ears answer long ears are seen in hairy was they have to be alert from the attack of predator can they can move their ears to look at the approaching prey in case of such danger they run away in a herd having long ears in an adaptation to escape from enemies answer the following first why is the camel called a sheep of the desert answer the skin of camel is thick the legs are long with uh, soles uh, there is a fold of skin for protection of nostrils the eyelashes are long and thick and thus they protect the eyes fat is stored in its hump diet which it can survive for a long time without water diet to all of such adaptation camel becomes more suitable to walk in the desert thus it is used as a means of transport and it is called a ship of the desert b how can the plants like cactus and acacia uh, acacia uh, live in desert with scarce water answer cactus and are plants that grow in desert they show adaptation to survive in the scarcity of water cactus does not have ear leaves leaves are modified into thorns therefore water is not lost by evaporation through leaves they stem three uh, takes up the function of photo and uh, these and hence turns fleshy and green there is thick layer of waxy substances on the stems root of these plantation penetrate deep down in into the soil in search of water all such adaptation help the cactus and acacia to survive in desert with scarce water what is the interrelationship between adaptation of organism and their surroundings answer adaptation are the changes that take place in the structure and function of the body these modification in various organs and life process help the organism to live feed reproduce and create new generation they also help in the protection of organism against the predators depending upon the habitat and its geographical condition the organism acquire corresponding adaptation how are organism classify answer animal and plants are classify according to their characteristics for this the detailed study of these organism is done how organism is classify based on the basic similarities and different differences and uh, the organism are classified into group and sub groups and uh, here is formed depending upon these features in this way the organism are placed in suitable groups and classification is achieved तो ये थे इसके क्वेश्चन आंसर जो मैंने आपको बताए मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक के लिए बाय